Today we're going to be answering an FRQ from 2013, question number four. And in this um, FRQ, we are given the graph of F prime and also the um, horizontal tangent of the graph, which is at x equals one, x equals three, and x equal to five. And also F of eight is defined as F of eight equal to four. So by just looking at the graph, we would see that um, the area of the curve between the x-axis are also defined and uh, we need to remember that the graph that we are looking at is the graph of the derivative function. So let's go ahead and answer problem letter A which is to find all the values of x on the op open interval from 0 up until 8 and we need to find the local minimum of the function f given the graph of f prime. So let's go ahead and write it down. So for letter A, we are supposed to find the local minimum. And uh, the local minimum of the function occurs at the critical point. And in this case, we know that the local minimum exists. So we know that the local minimum exists when f prime changes from negative value to the positive value. So in this particular case, by just looking at the graph, we know that this function right here are all the positive um, a function or slope of our f prime and this will be the negative uh, slope of our f prime so you will notice that from here our candidates will be at x equal to 4 and x equal to 6 however x equal to 4 is not going to be our local minimum because this one is changing from positive going to negative so x equal to 4 is our local maximum based on the graph of f prime and x equal to 6 is changing from negative going to positive so that means that x equal to 6 is our um, point in the graph where we have a local minimum so to write it down And that's how we answer problem letter A. Now for uh, problem letter B, we are supposed to find the absolute minimum of the value. So uh, the absolute minimum of a given function occurs at the endpoints and in the critical points. But since we are given the function or the graph of the f prime function, which is the derivative function, we are looking at the endpoints, which is at x equal to 0 and x equal to 8 and the uh, critical numbers here based on our f prime graph which is at x equal to 4 and x equal to 6. However, we know that x equal to 4 is local maximum so we, need, we can eliminate that in our uh, list and we can include x equal to 6 as one of the candidates for our absolute minimum. So let's go ahead and check uh, the absolute minimum by using the graph of f prime. So the candidates will be at x equal to 0, x equal to 8, and at x equal to 6. So let's start with x equal to 0. 
So we're looking for f of 0. Now, to uh, find f of 0 using the graph of f prime, we know that f of 8 is defined as f of 8 equal to 4. And we're supposed to find f of 0. So 0 is right here. So when we are working on our integration, we're going to be working backwards. So to set up our integral function for finding f of 0, we'll have f of 8 plus the integral from 8 going to 0 of our function f prime of x dx. Now, since our lower limit is bigger than our upper limit, we can uh, use the properties of integration and revise our integral function into f of 8 plus negative integral of f prime of x dx from 0 up until 8. So now all our um, area under the curve will change its sign because we um, change the direction of our integration. So we know that f of 8 from the given problem is equal to 4, so we can replace f of 8 as 4. and find the sum of the area under the curve from 8 up until 0. So from here we have 7, add it with negative 3, plus 6, plus 2. So this is the area from 8 up until 0. So let's go ahead and solve f of 0 by adding our area between curves, which is 7 minus 3 plus 6 plus 2, which is going to um, equal to 12. So we know that f of 0 is equal to 4 minus 12, which is equal to negative 8. So that is our f of 0. Now let's use the same system in finding f of f of 8. Now f of 8 is easy to solve because it's already defined in our given problem. So f of 8 is already equal to 4 from the given problem. So we only need to find f of 6. So for f of 6, we'll use the same function right here. So we have f of 8 plus the integral from 6 up until 0 of f, I mean 6 up until 0 of f prime of x dx. And looking back at our graph right here, since we're looking for f of 6, we're just going to start at 6 going to the left. So we'll have f of 8, as we know, is equal to 4. Subtract it from the area that will pass from 6 up until 0. So here we have negative 3. Add it to 6 and add it to the area of 2 right here. So we can find f of 6, which is giving us 4 minus negative 3 plus 6 plus 2 is equal to 7. So f of 6 is equal to negative 3. So based on our computation, our absolute uh, minimum occurs at f of 0, which is negative 8, because it gives us the lowest value of uh, the function f based on our computation. So we can say that, therefore, at x equal to 0. Now for problem letter C, we are supposed to find where the function is concave down and increasing and explain our reasoning. So um, to define concavity and um, 
when a function is increasing and decreasing based on our f prime graph. So we know that all the functions or the function is going to be increasing above the x-axis since we are given the graph of f prime and everything below the f prime or below the x-axis will be the negative value of our function. Now concavity occurs by looking at the direction of the slope of your f prime graph. So we know that all these functions from the interval from 0 to 1, we have here um, the function wherein the concavity is going down. And from 1 up until 3, the concavity is going up. And from here up until x equal to 5, the concavity is going down and so on. Now, in this case, to articulate our answer, we just need to define how concavity and uh, when a function is increasing based on our function. So for letter C, concavity of F occurs when the direction of F prime is decreasing and increasing while f is increasing when the value of f prime is positive. So therefore, to answer the question, f is concave down and increasing on the interval. So let's check. So we know all the functions will be increasing at this point in our f prime function. Concavity is increasing when the slope is increasing. So here we have two um, interval wherein the function f is, let's check what that question is asking us, both concave down and increasing. So it's going to be concave down on those two values, but it's increasing because it's right here on the positive um, area of our f prime graph. So we know that it will satisfy on the interval from 0 up until 1 because it's positive and it's concave down. So it's at 0 and 1. And similar. Um, behavior is right here in this interval right here so it's also going to be concave down and increasing at 3 and 4. So this or these intervals satisfies the conditions that we are supposed to find which is the function should be um, concave down and increasing. Now for letter D, for letter D we're supposed to find the function G or the function G is defined by G of X equal to F of X cubed and F of 3 is given which is negative 5 over 2 we need to find the slope of the line tangent to the graph of g at x equal to 3. So we need to find the slope at g when it's x when x is equal to 3. So um, to um, solve this problem, so obviously to find the slope we need to find the derivative of g of x. So g prime of x is equal to, so the derivative of this function we're going to be using chain rule. So we have 3 times f of x squared multiplied by f prime 
of x. So this is our g prime of x, which is the function that will help us solve for the slope. And we're looking at the uh, slope of the line tangent to the graph of g at x equal to 3. So g prime of 3 is what we need to look for. So by substitu substitution, f of 3 squared times f prime of 3. So f of 3 is given, which is negative 5 over 2. So let's go ahead and plug it in. 5 over 2 squared times f prime of 3. So we can find it by using the graph of f prime. So the value of y at x equal to 3 will be 4. So f prime of 3 is 4. So now, since we have set it up already, all we need to do is to um, find the value of this function right here. So we have 3 times 5 over 2 squared is 25 all over 4 multiplied by 4. Let's cancel this out. So we have 3 times 25. Therefore, g prime of 3 is equal to 75. And that's how we solve problem letter D.